First responders from around Connecticut and the country continue to remember fallen firefighter Ricardo Torres Jr. Torres died in the line of duty battling a house fire in New Haven back in May. In the wake of Torres's passing, communities continue to show their support for his family. Fox 61's Gabby Molina has more on today's special fundraising event. As the New Haven Fire Department continues to mourn the loss of Ricardo Torres Jr., communities outside of New Haven continue to show their support. Our first responders, um, they do the tough things that a lot of us are never going to have to face or are going to have to deal with. Um, and unfortunately, um, Ricardo paid the ultimate price for all of us. New Haven firefighter Ricardo Torres Jr. died battling a house fire on May 12th. Remembered as a hero, his death touched communities near and far from where he served. One, being North Branford, where a local business, Good Vibes Nutrition, hosted a fundraiser to support Torres's family. We figured we would make it a day to thank all of our first responders, but that we would also give back a little bit to his family just to try to help in any way that we could. Samantha Pepe's family had a connection to that tragic day. Lieutenant Samad Nuk Rankins, a firefighter who was critically injured in the fire. My brother is actually an EMT and he, uh, his mentor is Nuke Rankins. Um, so when we heard about what happened, we just knew that we had to do something, something small that we could do to help. Honoring first responders everywhere and remembering Torres, members of the community spent Sunday afternoon enjoying food, games, and music to help raise money. A husband, father, and son, Torres also had an extended family in his own department and others around the state. The fire service is like a large brotherhood or sisterhood. Um, it's kind of like having a whole bunch of cousins spread out all across. Members of the North Branford Fire Department happy to be part of the effort to offer support for a member of that family. We assisted during the, um, during the funeral services, provided support to the New Haven Fire Department. The idea is to do everything that we can to help the Torres family. And while it's personal for some, for many others who wanted to help, it was simply a matter of wanting to do something to thank those who put their lives on the line to keep our community safe. Our local first responders in this area are incredible along with everyone else in this community and we wanted a way to kind of give back and show like our thanks to them for everything that they do for us. Monday marks two months since the tragic fire, but the community support has not slowed down. In New Haven, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.